Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tom's Gadget Garage. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at something that I think is really cool. In fact, I'm very excited about this because to be honest, this is actually something I've secretly been wanting over the last several years, but haven't quite pulled the trigger on one. And to my surprise, one morning I woke up to an email from Outdoor Master asking if I'd be open to reviewing their electric longboard, also known as an e-skate. So as I've mentioned in previous videos, back around 2004 to 2006, me and a bunch of friends in Colorado would ride up and down mountain roads out there on our longboards and see how fast we can get going. And sometimes we'd get upwards of 52 miles an hour on boards that had no electronics, no brakes. It was just you, the board, the road, and your friend, gravity. And if you wanted to stop that longboard, you had to either do some pretty hardcore carving or power sliding if that was something that you were into. So unfortunately, I haven't touched a longboard in 13, going on 14 years at this point, which is really a shame because those were some of the most fun times I've ever had. Uh, and so I'm really grateful for the opportunity that Outdoor Master has given me on this channel to review one of their electric longboards. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'll go ahead and get this box popped open. We'll look at the board. We'll go over all the details, see what's inside the box. Then we'll get this thing powered up and we'll take it on a ride. So let's jump into it. All right, so I'm gonna get this turned around for you so you get the full unboxing experience. Okay, you've got some foam padding here. And there it is, as simple as that. There is the board. I will uh, bring you in closer so you can see what I can see. So this is the Outdoor Master Caribou. It's got this uh, white grip tape along the entire length of the top surface of the board. Uh, it does have concave throughout, but it's mostly pronounced here uh, towards the front and the rear, which are gonna be the primary places where you're gonna be putting your feet. We've also got uh, this here that says that there are some accessories underneath. So we'll of course look at those. First accessory I see is this Y tool, which is uh, really nice to make adjustments to the wheels, the trucks, all that fun stuff. Battery charger here. Looks like it's got a max output of two amps. USB-A to USB-C charging cable which is gonna be important for the remote control for the longboard. Yes, this electric longboard does come with a remote control, so we'll go over some of those details here in a moment. But that is all that is inside of this box. I'll go ahead and get this uh, longboard on the table and we'll go look at some of the details on it. Now here's a closer look of the Outdoor Master Caribou. Now this particular longboard is a hub-driven longboard, uh, so it's actually got the motors integrated into the wheels. Now these wheels are 96 by 56 millimeters, so these things are really large, as you can see, compare this to my fist. They are jumbo size wheels, so the bigger the wheels, the better if you're gonna be riding on rougher terrain. Now in terms of the motors on the Caribou, they can put out a nominal 560 watts each, so that's both of these motors at the rear of the longboard, and they can crank out a maximum peak power of 1,000 watts uh, with approximately two Newton meters of torque uh, per wheel. Uh, overall, this board does weigh 22 pounds or 10 kilograms, so definitely heavier than your typical uh, non-powered longboard or skateboard. But the beautiful thing is that you've got this wonderful battery pack here, which is made up of Samsung 21700 cells. And of course, you've got uh, these motors that we talked about. And you've also got this electronic speed controller, which is basically the brains of the board. And as you can see, these look to be very well sealed and the cable management is very good. Uh, in terms of water resistance rating, this does come in at IP53. So here's the thing with longboards, I definitely don't recommend riding out in the rain or wet conditions primarily because you've got slicks. These are basically slicks. There's no tread or anything on here. Uh, and so you want to avoid riding in rainy conditions if possible. If you're curious about how you would come to a stop on something like this, it's actually got regenerative braking or electronic braking in each of those motors. And you can actually use the controller uh, to slow yourself down or to speed yourself up. Now, if you're curious what the deck is made out of, it's actually made of multiple materials. Uh, it's got two layers of bamboo, six layers of Canadian maple, as well as two layers of fiberglass. So that makes for a very robust deck that can actually support riders up to 330 pounds or 150 kilograms. 
In terms of the deck length on the Caribou, it comes in at 39 inches, and it's actually 9.4 inches wide. Uh, and the trucks here, nine and a quarter inches wide. In terms of charging the Caribou, you've got a charge port here on the side with a rubber cover. Uh, and here you've got a power button, which allows you to power on the longboard, which we'll do right now. So we're going to press the power button here. It is now blinking blue. We'll take out our remote. We'll long press the power button. That'll get the LCD screen on there lit up and you can see some wave pattern. That's just a frame rate. Uh, you don't see that when I'm actually, you know, looking at this remote. Uh, but there are multiple drive modes. Uh, so right now when you press it, we're in drive mode one and this is our throttle. You push forward, that should get the wheels moving and you pull back, that should be our brake. There we go. Uh, if we switch to speed mode two, That'll take us to 30 kilometers per hour. There's the brake. And then speed mode three for the Brave uh, sounds like this. It goes to 64 kilometers an hour on the remote and you pull it back and that is the brake. Uh, they actually claim up to 32 miles an hour, which is absolutely insane for flat ground riding. Uh, they also say that this thing will go up to 26 miles in range, which of course range estimates depend on your weight, the riding surface, the incline that you're going on, all that fun stuff. So keep in mind what you get might be different than what uh, the manufacturer claims as the theoretical range. Now, if you're curious of what the hill climbability is, on the Caribou. Outdoor Master does claim up to 35 degree slopes, which is absolutely insane. So we'll be putting that to the test. So if you live in a hilly area, this could be a good option for you. But of course, we'll test out hill climbability, we'll test out range, top speed, all that fun stuff. All right, so now that we've got this thing unboxed, we've gone over all the details, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing charged up. We'll get the battery to 100%. Then we're gonna move on to my favorite part, which is actually riding this thing. So hang tight, we're gonna do that now. All right, so one of the first things I noticed when riding the Caribou is how much it actually feels like riding a regular longboard. Yes, it's significantly heavier than a regular longboard, but once you get going, the ride feels the same. So in terms of ride comfort, it's ultimately gonna depend on the surface in which you're riding. Now, if you're riding on smooth pavement, the Caribou is gonna do exceptionally well. It's gonna be very comfortable, very smooth riding. Now, on the flip side, if you ride on poorly finished asphalt, things are gonna be quite a bit more rough. Now, the good news about the Caribou is it does come with a foam layered grip tape, which does help absorb some of the vibration from the ground coming up through your feet. Uh, another thing that you can do to improve ride comfort is the shoes that you wear. Now with any kind of skateboard or longboard, you definitely want to wear footwear that is flat. Uh, and ideally you'll want something that's got, you know, really good uh, cushioning uh, in the sole to help absorb some of the vibrations that come up through the board. Now the Caribou comes out of the box with three speed modes. Uh, mode one will take you to approximately 10 miles an hour. Mode two will take you to approximately 20 miles an hour, and mode three will take you to a theoretical max speed of 32 miles an hour. Now, 32 miles an hour on an electric skateboard is really quick. And before you attempt those kind of speeds, you wanna make sure that your skill level is where it needs to be and that your equipment is adjusted appropriately. Now, in my particular test, I was able to get the Caribou to 28 miles an hour, and I could have gone faster. Unfortunately, I did not have the trucks adjusted adjusted tight enough. So when it comes to long boards and e-skateboards, it's really important to know that speed can be really fun, but it must be approached with extreme caution. So if you're new to e-skateboards, I would definitely recommend to take things slow and make sure that your board is appropriately adjusted. And as your skill level increases, you can push some of those limits a little bit further over time. Now, one of the most impressive aspects of the Caribou is its ability to climb steep inclines. Now, Outdoor Master does claim the Caribou can climb slopes up to 35 degrees. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any slopes that are 35 degrees anywhere around me, uh, but I was able to test this on various slopes, both short and long, and I'll tell you what, uh, this uh, e-skateboard has no issues at all whatsoever climbing. So if you plan to ride the Caribou in hilly areas, you should have no issues at all whatsoever. So when it comes to braking, I was really unsure what to expect. It's an electric skateboard with regenerative braking and no mechanical brakes at all whatsoever. And surprisingly, the brakes on the Caribou 
caribou are very effective on both flat ground as well as downhill scenarios. My only recommendation when it comes to braking is to use the brakes with caution. Uh, keep in mind that the only connection that you have to that board is your feet. So as you and the board are moving forward, uh, when you hit those brakes, the board slows down, your body has a tendency to keep moving. So you're gonna wanna compensate that movement by putting, leaning back and putting some of that uh, weight on your back foot. Uh, that way you can counter some of that forward motion when the board slows down. When it comes to range, Outdoor Master does claim that the caribou will get upwards of 26 miles on a single charge. Now, keep in mind that when it comes to range estimates, just know they are based on very specific criteria. For example, a 165 pound rider riding on a flat, smooth ground in 77 uh, degree Fahrenheit temperatures with minimal stop and go. Uh, in reality, the, our conditions might be completely different than those test conditions. For example, I weigh at 205 pounds. Uh, I was riding uh, on a mix of surfaces, uh, asphalt and pavement uh, on a relatively warm day. It was like 87 degrees out at the time. Uh, and I was able to squeeze out about 17 miles of range. So I think an acceptable range for you to keep in mind for this particular e-skateboard is gonna be around 16 to 20 miles. Uh, if you are you know, on the lighter side, minimal stop and go, very flat surfaces, you can probably squeeze out more, but that's really my estimate based off my testing. The remote on the Outdoor Master Caribou is actually quite nice. Uh, as you can see, it is ergonomically designed, so really easy to hold on to while you're riding. Uh, here you've got the uh, throttle wheel, which if you push it forward, you will accelerate. If you pull it back, you will engage the electronic brakes. Uh, it is very responsive, it is spring loaded, so it really comes comfortable to use. Uh, up front here, we've got a power button to turn the remote on and off. Uh, and below that, you've got a multi-function button. If you click it once, uh, or do single clicks, I should say, you'll actually cycle through the various drive modes, so mode one, mode two, and mode three, which you actually see on the screen. Now, if you double click on this button, uh, you'll actually reverse uh, the direction of the motor, so you can ride your uh, longboard in reverse. Uh, you also have a speed readout, which you can switch between kilometers an hour and miles per hour. And so overall, great remote. The one thing that I wish this thing had uh, was trip related information. So it does not give you, you know, your current mileage, an odometer or anything like that. I did reach out to Outdoor Master and that could be something that I look at uh, in the future. It's just not available on the remote right now. So overall, I am very happy with the Outdoor Master Caribou. It's a great entry level board that sports a very smooth ride and has plenty of punch for tackling hilly terrain. Now, a couple things that I would love to see in future iterations of this board. Uh, the first is gonna be having a trip or odometer readout on the remote itself, it's really nice to get an idea of uh, you know how far you've ridden. Of course, you could use third-party apps uh, or a GPS to track that, but it would be really nice to have that in the remote itself. And the second thing is the grip tape on this longboard is white, and I have found that it gets dirty really easy, so it'd be really nice to be able to get this board uh, in a darker color. So what do you think about the Outdoor Master Caribou? Let me know in the comments below. Happy to answer any questions uh, you might have. And while you're there, I'll include some links in the description uh, to the Outdoor Master Caribou, its latest pricing, as well as an exclusive discount. So if you do decide to purchase uh, this longboard, if you use those links below, they'll definitely help this channel out and you'll be able to get a discount at the same time. Uh, and as always, thank you so much for tuning into Tom's Gadget Garage. We'll see you next time.